Well, hello there again, guys. This is Pat from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And uh, behind me, I have a 390 MS 390 still chainsaw that started uh, dying if when, once I wrapped it up. There could be several different uh, possibilities or issues that might uh, affect that, and one would be uh, the carburetor having some particulate inside of the, some of the screens in there uh, could be a seal around where the carburetor and manifold and different things uh, hook together it might be sucking air it could be the pickup line I'm suspect of the pickup line and I'm also suspect of the the carburetor uh, maybe being gummed up uh, due to bad gas in, in the uh, fuel uh, that could be an issue when I wind up the saw and I start to make a cut, it starts to die die off and sometimes it kills itself or sometimes the saw will quit. With a small engine, it's either firing or it's fuel. <laughs> that's generally the, the issue. Um, that's where you want to start. It could be a plug. It could be a plug that's going bad. There's several simple things that I like to go for. One is if it doesn't run at all, I like to go for the plug. If uh, if that's not the case, um, it could be something to do with the pickup line uh, for the fuel. I got on Amazon, I was looking around, and and I thought, well, I'll see if I can find a pickup tube, because that was my suspect, is a pickup tube in the fuel tank that uh, feeds the carburetor. And lo and behold, I found a whole kit, a whole tune-up kit. I'm not too sure about the quality. <laughs> I got all these different things for, I think it was under $16 I spent. They gave me a, a new filter and various feed lines for fuel. This was the part that I was actually looking for. That goes inside the tank. They also gave me a new spark plug, a new screen, and to be quite honest with you, I have no idea what this is, <laughs> but uh, here's another filter. You know, they gave me a, a brand new carburetor. You go and you buy just the gaskets and a rebuild kit for a carburetor. It's going to cost you a little bit of money. So I thought for $16, I, I don't think I can go wrong with uh, just getting this whole setup here. And uh, whatever I don't use due to a uh, process of elimination, uh, I can go ahead and have this little box and set it aside for when I do need a new spark plug or a new widget whatever that's for I don't I don't know <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and I've taken air and blow blew off all of the sawdust and everything off of the saw make sure that there's no sawdust or anything around that's gonna affect the work that I'm doing and just pull the gas cap off of there and I got myself a clean container I'm going to empty all of the fuel off into this new and in, in, into this clean container so I can do my work and so I can inspect also to see what kind of condition that the fuels in it could be contaminated well I didn't make too awful horrible of a mess so now I'm going to pull the uh, pickup line or the siphon tube out of here. And that's the, this tube here is what I suspect is being the bad part. Remove the air cleaner. Let's see how I get in here and get to the uh, pickup line.
like to stick something in here to where I don't drop anything or get any contaminants in the in the uh, cylinder. What I forgot to do is to pull the pull the screen off of here. This has to come off first. I'm not sure if this is the problem because this sure feels pliable. I don't see any cracks or anything in this. A lot of times these will, with that new E85 gas, uh, I, I don't use the ethanol gas in in my small engines but it seems like the new fuels uh, corrode rubber real bad so I don't know if there's like an air hole in, in, in here or a crack that I can't see upon just general inspection it looks like a it looks like a good pickup tube so I'm not going to throw that away quite yet until I run the engine after putting this new one in and seeing if that cures the problem so here you can see where the where the hole is right in between those two posts there that mount the carburetor Well, one thing's for sure, it doesn't feel like the quality of this pickup tube is as good as this one here. I think this is the original equipment, so it feels a lot more elastic than the new one I put in. So the uh, quality probably isn't as good as uh, the one I just took out. But hopefully it's going to solve the issue that I have. And you have to go inside and make sure that that uh, make sure that that rubber grommet or bushing is all the way. I don't know if you can see that or not, but in there you see how that's not quite in all the way. So I need to keep pushing on the back side so the whole bushing is seated properly. So now this, this portion here, the small portion here that I got my finger on, is actually all the way through, sealed all the way around where that hole is from the tank to the carburetor. Now I just reach in and grab the tube. And we'll just put the new filter on while we're here. Or screen. And that's all put together so I can stuff that back in the tank. And I like to make sure that the screen is actually in the bottom of the tank as well. I don't know if you guys can see that. So now the pickup tube is actually on the bottom of the tank instead of on the top. Now I'll remove the rag from the cylinder. Now we'll put back on the old carburetor. After wiping off the uh, carburetor, the contact points where it seals, um, making sure that there's no imperfections or dirt to be sucked into it. This goes like this. And the hose hooks right back up to the original intake line for the carburetor.
and it might have been premature but I think I can get that on there we go so the other portion that I have to make sure that it gets plugged in is this hose right here has to get plugged into the bottom side of the carburetor as you can see right here I'm going to slide, carefully slide that back into place making sure that seats and then I also have to as I'm sliding this back I need to pull this rubber seal here back over here to where this goes to the adjustments for the rich and lean and air now I'm not sure if you can see this or not but where the trigger comes ahead this throttle cable or throttle wire snaps right into place right here into that little groove. I don't know if you can see that. that little groove right there. And that operates freely. Now you can just put those on snug. You don't have to put a cheater pipe on that wrench. Now that operates freely. Choke looks good. Now that wire slips right into this little groove right here. The kill wire. The choke's working. Holds in place. This alarm here. You pull the trigger, you let that off, and then that takes it off of choke. That's half choke. Okay. Now this air cleaner I cleaned up before I turned the video camera on, so I blew everything out really nice. Clean this up. Added a little, just a little bit of uh, uh, mixed gas with that to help catch particulate, sawdust, and dirt. Now if the saw runs good, I'll know it's that pickup tube. If it doesn't run good, I'll know that this pickup tube's okay, and I'll just put this back on the shelf as a good tube. Now I allowed my fuel to sit for a bit and I don't notice I don't notice any contaminants in the fuel no water in the fuel if there's any water in this you'd see water uh, settling out in the bottom here but this the fuel is totally clean so I'm gonna put this fuel back in it and we'll see if it'll start <laughs> Well, I hope that helps somebody out if they're thinking they're needing to change out their pickup line for their carburetor from the gap uh, from the fuel tank on a on a, pretty much any power saw is pretty similar. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. Take care and God bless.